It's good to know you're still with us. You're watching The Breakfast and uh, the segment we're on is Off the Press. Uh, we still have Chris Wandu, the publisher of CKN News. Uh, thank you for your patience. Uh, before you. we went on that very short break, yeah. um, you were talking about the situation. Yes, I was talking about the state. situation in Edo State. I would say that religious leaders um, should be careful with our transits and the rest of them. Um, uh, a situation where you come out and say you endorse this, you endorse that, and that is not within their purview. It's just like, just like traditional rulers. They're supposed to be a father to all and for all. If you understand what I'm trying to say, if you say you endorse a particular candidate, are you saying that there are no other candidate, uh, members of the other party in your church or what? So it, it, I think that's not the way to go. Um, they should stay off politics so that right. we don't continue to have all these challenges we're having presently. Uh, um, you yes. Want to say something else? Uh, no, I was just <laughs> looking at the um, other headlines and um, I was looking at also the issue of um, three helicopters that has been probed by Lagos State House of Assembly and said they don't know where those helicopters are and they don't know <laughs> it was about that the state government and um, they need accountability and I think something should be able to, something should give and then um, Lagos State government, the chief of staff to the Lagos State government has been someone with some other people. Um, well, we'll we'll see what develops that. We'll uh, see from, what, from that end. That but let's, let's, let's quickly, uh, in the last uh, about three or four minutes that we have, talk mm. about the Guardian newspaper headline, Banks, Telcos defy recession as COVID-19 pandemic lingers. Uh, that's the big one there. Growth to remain weak till 2021. Economists seek interventions in productive sector debt servicing. Obasanjo Tambuwal's meeting stirs PDP. Sources allege plan to oust Secondus, uh, stop Atiku. We also have Atiku ahead of uh, Tambuwal, says ex-VP's aide. Party BOT chair sues for calm. Senate speeds fire, uh, flays NTA start times on fruitful partnership. FG to strengthen pre boarding testing against COVID 19 transmission. IDPs lament death of 30 pregnant women in Wasa Cam. And of course, the Unilag uh, new acting VC is also captured on the front page uh, of the paper. Uh, let's come to you. Yeah, uh, for, um, on um, banks and telecom defying uh, um, uh, with the research or whatever that was used, um, is expected. Um, while we are all at home during the COVID, you see the level of data we were using, we were making calls, people are not, Zoom became <laughs> the way to go, Skype became the way to go, people now use virtual meet, go on virtual meetings since there's no physical contact and the rest of them. Yeah, some people actually think it's free. It's not yeah, that cheap. No, it's, 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 it's not that cheap. It's not that cheap. It's not. So for every second you spend using your phone, either for WhatsApp or going to YouTube to check, uh, to watch movies or check services, you are paying. You are paying for those data. And so the telecom companies were making a kill during that period. And bank also, yes, there were transactions going on. That is why they were asking you, they are now emphasizing, use our app, download our app. Since they don't want you to physically come to the banks, you can do your transactions. We were making transactions um, through the apps and the rest of them. So the banks were, were making money. The telecom companies were making money. While other sectors were really um, in commercial, so, like um, the event companies, the hotels, uh, name it, we are really having serious challenges. Yeah, uh, quickly, um, because of time, I want you to talk about the Obasanjo Tambuwal's meeting. Well, it's expected in 2023 is on the card. Um, don't forget that Tambuwal was the closest to Atiku during the um, last yes last election when they are trying to select their candidate and a lot of some of the governors were solidly behind Tambua but Atiku had a uh, last, there's also this rumor coming up that Atiku is coming out for 23 and Tambua also wants to come for 23 he's, he's almost true with by 23 will be true with the second term as a governor of Sokoto state and he's a very con strong candidate so what is, I think he's doing now is moving around consulting but if he's consulting Obasanjo I don't know why Obasanjo because Obasanjo is no longer a member of PDP so is he consulting him as a statesman or a founding father of PDP or what. So that is the issue. But politicians, politicians will always have their way. Um, but as the time goes, well, you've come to realize that the PDP is already strategizing. Just like the APC, you have been seeing names being branded, uh, Mashiwaju, everybody. 
all is just being galvanized towards 2023, and they've not even given the government a time to be able to hand to take. They still have about three years to go. Indeed, <laughs> time <laughs> will tell. No yes. matter what we do, a time has a way of unraveling it and does. revealing it does. the truth it for does. everyone to it does. see. It does. We're here. We'll yes. see what goes on. We're definitely here. Thank you very much for your time, as always. Thank you very it's much for having me. Thank you very much for having me. All right, that's uh, it for off the press. We'll be back shortly. Don't go away.